but we'll be okay. All right, let's mix all that up into, into our corner of our fan brush, just like that. Fantastic, right? Come up here like this and maybe we'll come just anywhere. Stay along that white edge, right? Wherever we had that whiteness in here, we're gonna bounce it up, stay along the side, pop it up into the blue every so often. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? When is, when's the last time you saw a perfect cloud? Never. Never, because there is no shape, no distinction, no, this is supposed to be a cloud and it can't be any other way. That's my favorite thing about clouds. They're like people, they can be whatever they wanna be. Fantastic. Love it. All right, now, it's very bright up there, right? You can't really decide. You can't tell what's really going on. Wow, that looks fantastic on the screen. I can't see it. There's a lot of glare from over here. But that looks fantastic on the screen. Does look fantastic. Guys, if you could do us a huge favor, both on Josh's side and my side, if you guys could uh, hit that share button and send it to at least 10 of your friends, that would be absolutely amazing. Maybe we can get some more people in here. Remember to tap that screen, comment, if you like what you're seeing, press follow that host. I really appreciate you guys being here with us on this fine Friday night. We really do. You can see I only ever really use one corner of the brush. The other side's clean. Just got paint on the one side. Maybe we come up here and put some of that just straight up blue. All right, just mixing in some of the blue into the base of that cloud. And then we're going to take our one inch brush and we're going to go this way and this way. Mostly this way. Right? And every so often we'll pop up and then we'll come back. And then we'll pop up and then we'll come back. All the while pushing it, moving it backwards and forwards. Thanks, honey. You're welcome, baby. See that? Looks very cool. Just adds that little bit of shadow in there, that little bit of depth. You can bring it as far in as you want, as far as it'll grow anyway. Right? You don't want to have really hard areas, or maybe you do. And you want to have it be a very deep, dark shadow in there. Right? The more you work it, the more it's going to change. And then you can go back with your white. And this is the best part. You have to, right, if you want to have multi-layered clouds, you can't just put white on top of white on top of white. It's never going to show. You have to have that difference in color back in there. So we'll take our white like this and come up and just pop into that blue section. Then now we're creating a whole new bit of cloud right in the front, just mushing it on. Sometimes you can go straight up like that and come down and you leave these cool little things like what we have happening out here. And they just look awesome, right? See how we brought the, the color down a little bit and we're leaving a little section of blue in between. That way these two colors can grow together. They want to be friends. They want to they give each other a hug. So I use half of a straw, <laughs> which sounds dreadful, but I push the wick through the end of the straw and then I center it with my eyes. I'm sure there are more accurate devices out there. And then once I've poured the wax, I use a wick stabilizer to hold the wicks in place. But I only do that once they start to harden up. Yeah, otherwise Sorry. you block all your vision and your and your your pour. The best part about those pours is how the, the candle wax like pools at the top and there's all this motion. It's so cool. So if you put the wick stabilizer over that, you wouldn't be able to see half of it. That's very true. Just for anyone wondering, by the way, Josh and I are married. Yeah. Josh is upstairs. Love you, honey. Mwah. Mm -hmm. See, she can hear. I heard her. I heard you laugh before it came on the live. This is the first time we've ever done one of these lives, and I'm sure our mods are going crazy right now. <laughs> That's okay. No one's in. Oh, hi, for, uh, hi, Rose Garden. Hi, Jennifer Pike. Let's see. Uh, oh, Jennifer on your side. She was just over yeah. here with me. What happened? JCM JCM Doza says hi, babe. What's up, babe? I don't know. I don't know them, but. <laughs> Hi, babe. Love you. All right, let's get a little bit of white. We're going to come back up into that blue section. But again, want to leave space in between. Now we will have these little, just popping little things in there. Just little things. Little, look, oh, it's so much better now. Take this, mix it up slightly, going down and going up both ways. Just like that. Oh, push on it too hard and you're going to ruin it. So be very soft. You get all these layers. Ooh, look at that cloud. My Caitlin, goodness. Caitlin has a great idea in the comments. She said, next time you do this, whatever color I choose to pour in the candles, you got to paint with that same color. Okay. Well, I only have crimson, black, and blue, and white. Don't don't pay well, any mind. Right now, but I'm saying the next time we do this, <laughs> if I pour a green candle, boom, you use green. Okay. I'm down. Hey, I'm, I'm ready for a pull. You ready for a pull? Yep. 
What are we? What color is it gonna be? Oh, look at that! It's like the ocean. Oh, look at the top. You see what I'm saying? You get all that movement on the top, and it's like a pool of lava. It's just constantly moving around. Oh, here you do it from the top, babe. I'll do it from the bottom. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. Everybody in here watching, make sure you're tapping the screen and liking. If you like what you see, share it with your friends. Give it a little mix up. Look, you just change. Watch, let's pull a little bit of this out this way, right? Not a whole lot, but just, just pull it out. A couple little swipes. Change it. Oh, man, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Let's throw our chemtrail right out here, too. Fantastic. A little bit of white. Just the small, ooh, that's too much. Smallest little bit, just on the edge. Come out here. Bam. I have noticed that they do not have to be straight at all. I've been watching them in the sky, and they do not, they're barely ever straight, come to think of it. So don't worry if yours is not straight, right? But it just adds a little, little touch of us humans out there. And that's what I think people like. People love a, a painting with a cabin in it or with a little bit of a fence, or some sort of hint that there was a human somewhere where they are, right? And so, er, no matter where I am, anytime I look up, whether I'm in the woods or whether I'm in the city, there's a, there's a contrail up there. So, we paint them. We paint them, we paint them. I paint them, man. Anyway. Just want to let you guys know I am running a 50% off sale. If you order your candles right now, I will pour them live. During this live, you can choose the color that you want. And we will, uh, we'll pour them. And it's going to be wicked. We're going to be done with the painting thing. And I'm going to be downstairs helping London. Yay! Again, just taking that littlest bit, mixing it up until it starts to look like a soft little cloud. Let's see if I can get a color suggestion. I know you don't take color suggestions, but if you guys <laughs> had to pick a color, what color would you guys pick for this next candle? Let me know in the comments. Let's see, we're gonna go into our darker color. Yeah, let's do a dark red. Okay, and I'll do like a deep, dark, reddish, shadowy undertone to a cloud. That sounds like a plan. Okay, let's do it. What was my idea again? <laughs> dark red. I have to keep looking back and uh, seeing what it looks like on the camera, and that way I can go back with my idea. Let's see. It's, of course, it's flipped the wrong way. That's the side I wanted to be on, on screen anyway. Maybe we get this far off little bit of darkness, right? And it's the same color, but when we put it on here with our fan brush, it's thicker, right? So when we start to mix it, it stays that little bit darker. And then the more and more you mix it, the more it'll turn into the exact same color that's underneath, since we're only really using four colors, right? It's all about, it, I always say this with my clouds. It's one of my my famous sayings, right? Quote me on this. If you wanna paint clouds, it's about the three Ps, okay? Paint on the brush, pressure against the canvas, and practice, of course. Quote, paint with Josh. Thank you very much. Put a dash, paint with Josh right next Yeah. To Quotations, dash, P dub J. Very cool. The more you pull it down. Give me one second. I'm gonna, uh... I'm going to restart my live. Give me one second. Okay. The more you pull down on this little section of darkness back here, right? Might make it look like there's a far off rainstorm way off in the distance. Way off underneath things. You know what I mean? And the more and more you pull and the darker you make it, you can you throw a little rainstorm in there. Very cool. But we don't want a rainstorm for this one. We just want a little bit of darkness, a little bit of difference, right? And then with all of those little brush strokes... We're not, oh yeah, I got you. There we go. We're not using a whole lot of pressure, so we're not smearing everything across the canvas, right? Very cool, just like that. Soft little thing. Soft little thing. Very neat. Let me go back to our white. What's going on down there, babe? Nothing, my, uh, I had a weird topic on the top of my slide. Oh yeah? Ah, there we go. 
I mean, you are DIYing. Well, yeah, but I don't want to teach people how to DIY. I want people to purchase candles. Well, maybe I should be DIYing. No. I'm teaching people how to DIY. Huh? Definitely all, Mr. Ross. <laughs> My name's London. I make candles. If you hang around for the next couple of minutes, you'll see the most awesome galaxy pour. I make pixie dust candles. I currently have a 50% off sale in my store right now. And if you purchase candles right now online, I will pour them during this live. And it's really okay. fun. I need to get a little bit more paint out. I'm running out of paint. And people talk okay. about people talk about the Bob Ross paint not being firm, right? For the last I don't know, six months I've been using Windsor & Newton for my white, for the titanium white. And uh, Jonathan Everly, oh no, this one's from Linda Offen. Linda bought me this off of my wish list, my Amazon wish list. And uh, people say that Bob Ross paint is no longer firm. This is the firmest paint I've ever dealt with. Like, I almost couldn't paint with it the other day because it was so firm. So... You know, you, like you, some people complain and then you get something that's, you know, overly firm. But I love Bob Ross products. Bob's, Windsor, Gamblin, they're all fantastic. They're all equal in my eyes. And we use what we get sent, right? Yeah. Thank you, Linda. This was an amazing gift. I appreciate it. I will definitely use it. You know what's sad? Oh, we should talk about it tomorrow on the show. About the brushes from Linda, you know what I mean? It was so sad. Dude, she sent me these brushes. Just remind me to tell it again. She sent me these brushes. She, she was sending me like five of these big two-inch Bob Ross brushes because they were too big for her hands and her arthritis. She couldn't paint with them. And so she was like, I know you'll use them. And I was like, I will definitely use them. I need more. I appreciate it. And, uh, and she sent them. And like the mail, like her box got crushed. And a big hole opened up in the side. And when it got delivered to me, it was literally empty. And uh, and I felt so bad. Even though I didn't do anything. It was... I couldn't help. I was like, oh, you, you're going to have to make like a claim against the USPS. There's nothing really left to do. And I was looking forward to using those brushes. There we go. Again, all I'm doing here is just deciding with my eyeballs what the right amount of pressure is, right? Am I pushing too hard? Am I not pushing enough? Like, haven't touched this out here yet. So as we're going along, maybe very lightly along the edges where I don't want it to blend away. And then maybe in here, maybe it's too bright. So we push a little bit harder. And you get it to dole right. down a little bit. See what I mean? If you guys could do me a huge favor and share the live. Uh, next color should be light lavender. I like that suggestion. Thank you so much for that suggestion. We're going to get that taken care of right now. Very cool. Look at that cloud. Just pressure, right? Paint, pressure, practice. And you'll get clouds just like this. I'm telling you. Sometimes I'm pushing harder. Sometimes I'm pushing less. Sometimes we're making small circles into a big circle. And then we come back over here. Or we come onto this side. Like, it's never just the same. Mother Nature, all these things get twisted up and turned so much that you're never going to have it look neat, right? It's not going to be the perfect thing. I mean, that is the perfect cloud, though, right there. That is a fantastic cloud. If there was ever a perfect cloud, it would be this one. It would be this one. A little bit of darkness underneath because we got some shadowy little... Maybe, maybe it's holding some rain. And just pushing on it, mixing it. Haven't washed the brush one single time since we started. Right? Every color that's on this canvas is on this brush. And depending on how much I push, depends on how much we blend away or how much we let show. Look at that little soft little pink shadow. Oh, so cute. He's so cute. <clears throat> All right, what are we going to do? Let's hit this with a lavender. Maybe we could throw a bit of lightning back in there. Can we throw some lightning back in there? You say lavender is coming up next? I've already made a lavender one. I'll do oh. one under your spell. Oh, I thought you just said lavender. I thought I just heard that. I did say that, but then I realized I'd already made a lavender candle. Got it. Oh, a little bit of deeper darkness back there, and then we're going to throw... I mean, you get lightning bolts during the day, so let's do a lightning bolt. Why not? I'm going to take a smallest bit. Whoa, that's a bit too much. 
a little bit of our liquid white on the smallest brush you can possibly have, right? Maybe we'll put it in here and then just kind of wiggle, just wiggle it. Oh, it's almost, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. my brush is too, look what it's doing. It's like splitting the brush. That's not gonna hurt. That's not a wow moment. <laughs> my poor brush. Hang on, let's see if we can do this a bit better. Maybe he needs a trim. I've never given a brush a trim live before. But maybe we can trim off just a couple little stragglers. Right, always on an angle though. I never like to do it um, straight across. It's like when you get a, your hair cut, right? You gotta get it cut on an angle. Ladies do anyway to like layer it down, right? Yeah. So that's what I... Yeah. Now it might be. <laughs> London with the sound effects. Watch, you're like, oh no, we messed it up. Like, how are we gonna fix that? The liquid white literally blends away. Poof, it's gone. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there's, no, there's no mess about it. And the problem is this canvas is becoming very dry. It's like, I didn't gesso it, so now it's soaking up all of the, the liquid white too quickly. And that way, it's drying faster than I want it to be, and therefore it's not a smooth, wet surface anymore. But it's okay, we can work with it. Did you? Whoa. That's what happened that, that's what happened that day that I looked back at the camera, and you, you know, that's what happened that day. Okay, let's see if this works any better. Now that we have our liquid white on the end, of the bristles of the smallest, thinnest liner brush you've ever seen. Maybe we'll come up here, touch, and just drag. There we go. Jiggling down, right? <coughs> Little things. You can get this far off. Can I zoom on mine? Yeah, babe. Oh, I sure can. Get this far off little lightning bolt off in the distance, right? Always have it be a little bit thicker though, up here at the top. I like to drop like a little dot, right? A little dab at the top of it. And then you can come in with a little teeny tiny um, filbert brush and even grab smallest little bit of liquid white, uh, sorry, titanium white. And then we can just mix it into its own little bit of cloud where it kind of lit up that cloud as it came out. Get it down. Come back. Got to make it softer. Smallest little things. Bam, just like that. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. That smallest little bit of super bright area where the lightning bolt came out of. Amazing. Amazing. It's almost amazing as London's candles. Almost. Oh, it's so sweet. Very small little details, right? And then maybe every so often, would it be that way? No, it's going to be <laughs> that one. Phoenix. Phoenix is in my life, and they say, Josh, I bought titanium white because of you. Oh, awesome. I mean, it's a fantastic color. Where are we going off of? This little bend right here. And we're going to just... thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you in the morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Josh will be live once again, and uh, we will go from there. What's the next color suggestion? I have gray and pearl white done. Look at that Sailor. lightning bolt. You just say say less. I did. Like do less. Do less. Do less. I don't want him to be very long. I don't want him to be the same. Maybe on this guy up here. The problem with me is I'm like, oh, that looks cool. And then I continue to do more and more and more and more and more arms. And then I, I don't end up liking it. So maybe. Red bed is hilarious. Is in the house? Hey, hey. There we go. Got to make that one a little bit longer. Perfect. Can you do a fade off ocean green to blue? Oh, that would require two separate pores. And uh, not tonight. But I, I can do it. I just, it would require two separate pores. I have different wax coming on Sunday and I think I'd be able to do a lot more with that wax just because of the style of that wax. 
<laughs> See this guy? I don't like him. We're going to take him back. All the way back up like he never existed. Couple little swipes. Try not to hit the lightning bolt. Boom. Excellent. Love that. Looks like it's coming out over the top of this cloud. Very cool. Very cool. Let me hold that's your silver with sparkly pearl, Cheryl. I can't wait to see what this one looks like. Let's hit this up with the cornbread pudding scent. For anyone interested, cornbread pudding is in my store under Hello Pudding. I do have a ton of new scents. And, uh, yeah, this one's spectacular. It is very good. I love that thing. Like, it smells exactly like you would think cornbread would taste. I'm not even joking. Yeah, it really does. Josh, for your eyes, London, for your nose. Sniff me. Yeah, that was... Your sign-off was so funny. <laughs> Sniff me, I'm out. Like, you dropped the mic. <clears throat> So lightly touching. So lightly. That looks cool. Oh, thanks. You're welcome, baby. I don't know how to do that, or I would do it to your pores. Yeah, it's a secret. I don't want to give away trade secrets. That's okay. Wicked. Actually, I don't like that one either. It's every time I put something there, I don't like it. So I'm going to stop putting things here. It's got to come out of just one single beam. Excellent. Okay. Let's maybe pop in one more little bit of clown. We'll be done. Like, there's not much that I want to do left. You're going to be done? Like, come down and help you. Oh, I'm just getting ready to do another pull. Sweet. Yeah, where it's erupting out of here is so bright, so gorgeous. Yes, it is. What brush are you using? So I'm using a Artify uh, script liner brush, but as you can see, I've chopped a lot of the bristles off. It used to be very thick. You know what I mean? It used to be the normal size, and then I keep shaving them down and down and down until there is... Like, there you go. There you can see the bristles. Oh, look at that pour, hun. Oh! Oh, it's like you captured the sun in a bottle. Look at that. Fantastic. And you can see all of those bristles. So yeah. That's pretty. How do you make, how would you make it look like rain on the bottom of this guy? Super easy. Super easy. You would take it or maybe back here. Right? Here or here? Which one are we talking about? Up here? Down here? Thank you, Cassandra. Uh, oh, I was going to see. Maybe Cassandra's... Lower, so this one right here, okay, I'll show you. you. Take a little bit of some color, right? Whatever color is gonna stand out away from our darker colored sky, which isn't very dark at all. So why don't we take a little bit of our black? I'm just gonna dab it in, maybe pull out a little bit, maybe pull through the black and the crimson on both sides so they mix evenly. All right, just so we have that darker color. And then if I wanted to make it look like rain, maybe the bottom of this guy, you just pull off. Just a little bit, you know what I mean? And then the more that we mix it and let it blend, we'll fix the top. But the more you pull down, it's gonna look like further and further and further off little bits of rain. And I'll show you, I'll we'll mix the rest. I mean, you can literally make it go away. It's all the same dang color of the sky. You can make it go away if you wanted to. But have it look like very soft little bits, just straight down. And again, the more you go over it, the more it makes it softer, further away. And then you can come back and fix the top. And by the top, I mean the bottom here, right? So it's not all just a straight line. Come back, maybe take this one and pull it, like twist our, our things up instead of down. So we're not trying to cover over our little rainstorm back there, we're trying to keep it. Maybe we pull that guy off to the side, just however it looks best in your mind. And then you got this little soft little rainstorm back here. And that's all it is. 
Bam. Far off a little bit of rain out of that cloud. It looks like too bright of a cloud for some rain for me, but it's all good. Now I need to wash this big old brush off and then we'll blend out this little area of sky. Well, I'll stay up here and paint all night. I don't care. Okay. See what the people want, babe. Yeah. Well, you know, we don't have any canvases. If you guys can go on my wish list and hook me up with some canvases. Oh, that is true. You don't have any canvases. I have one canvas left. Oh, a reasonable size canvas, anyway. I've got two humongous canvases. Uh, but I have a couple reasonable size canvases left. And one's for the show tomorrow. And uh, one was for tonight. So... There we go. Like, you don't even have to do the bottom. You really don't. Like, you don't have to add anything if you don't want to. We've made six perfect candles, guys. Look at these candles. Wow, look at those. Vibrant color, huh? It's like, it's like you're married to an artist. Yeah, right? We had that. It's like you're married to an artist. I take this guy just very lightly along the top, and then if I want that white to grow down, I push it harder to go down, right? Keeps it light along the edge. Very bright. Maybe some of them we don't even touch. You know what I mean? They just stay very sharp like that. I love them. Fantastic! Right, maybe down here we just blend it until it blends into that bottom color. It doesn't all have to look the same. Maybe over here we come up, come down, we come over here. We twist the brush, we'll go back the other way. Or we turn it back again and go back the other way. All depends. I think this one in the front's my favorite, this silver. That one you're stirring right now? Yeah. It looks very gold on my screen. Yeah, it's not. It's I like, like that. beautiful, sparkly silver. I like that teal one just next to it. This one? Yeah, that, that the tealish green one. Sorry, Fiery Phoenix Rising says, this doesn't work the same way as acrylic, but it gets easier using isopropyl. So I've heard of many things, uh, if people use water or I've never heard isopropyl alcohol uh, for acrylics to make them blend easier. But yeah, I, I get asked all the time, how do I make my, my, um, my, cl or my colors blend like yours? How do I make it look? And I'm like, I know there's a way, I just don't paint in acrylics. So I don't know. I don't know. All right, I want to have one more super bright white area, right? Like to put a little bit of distance in between this cloud and the one that's in the front. So we're going to use a lot of white paint. And maybe we'll come up here, right? Stay into the darkness. But you notice how it's uh, dropping a lot more white. It's not a just a thin line. It's a very lot amount of paint. There we go. But staying into that shadowy area. I don't want the two light sections to touch. You got to have that difference in color back in there babe i'm sitting here staring at your painting that's hilarious oh you're watching me paint yes that's funny yeah just keep your broil see the the oh you should change the name to the london broil because that's what it looks like like a broiling cauldron that's funny right, very light pressure so these guys stay so 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 bright right and that'll keep them in the foreground even though there's no ground in this painting I've had so much, thanks, thanks audience, studio audience, right? Super, that's a super painting right there. Let me just say, 